Welcome back. The John Ball Zoo is now open for the season, and this year you can check out something new. It's not a new animal, but some brand new pieces of artwork with a unique story. And News 8's Emily Leonard went to the zoo to get a first look. This season, when you come to the John Ball Zoo, there's more than just the regular animals that you usually see when you come here. There's a different kind of animal display. We're talking about Wash to Shore today with Andy McIntyre, the COO of John Ball Zoo. And there are 16 pieces in this exhibit. Hey, it's all about trash. It actually is. So it's really bringing uh, to people the issue of bringing forward the issue of plastics in our waterways and trash in our waterways and how you, this art, really brings that to their attention. Well, I think that in Grand Rapids, we're really good at making art out of anything, but these are actual pieces that were salvaged from, well, taken from waterways and made into something to make us think. What are we supposed to think about when we're looking at these pieces? For sure, so the zoo partnered with Wash to Shore, and that organization is out of Oregon. So they've used 300 miles of coast along the Pacific coastline and gathered out this material and have created all the artwork from it. When you look at the sculptures, you'll see things that actually trigger your memories of going, oh, I've used that before. I've had that before and it really brings to light just maybe think a little in each of our daily lives and our ways that we do things of what do we need, how do we control and dispose of it properly so that it benefits wildlife as best we can. Okay, so beyond the lesson, you guys have made it kind of fun. There's um, almost a, a, a hide and seek, a, a find. You want to be looking for things when you're actually looking at these pieces. There is. So on each sign, actually at each of the sculptures, you'll find sort of uh, here's what you can look for when you're in there. And also you can see how these items are put together mm -hmm. and what it does to wildlife when it's in the environment. For example, you know, I have a piece of a plastic bottle right here and you can see that what has happened to it is something has actually eaten it. So this isn't just about it floating somewhere, it's about getting it out of the environment so that animals don't ingest it either. Um, our team actually helped put together Rosa the Bald Eagle, so we're really proud to have her here at the second, um, second zoo that she's been at since she was created. Yeah, so people here at John Ball Zoo helped start this. It was then sent away and it's back. Tell yes. me about that. Yeah, so normally the Wash to Shore organization has a studio in Oregon and obviously they would have people come and help volunteer to do that but during the pandemic that gathering people in a studio was a little more challenging so they took a different approach mm -hmm. and they reached out to their partners such as us and said here's a bunch of these can you help us create it so we did staff volunteers students from the zoo school that's here as well and then we sent it back and if you look there's I'm, I'm still trying to find my individual piece that I helped create <laughs> in here but I know it's in there all right so all season at the John Ball Zoo washed ashore look for it there's 16 different pieces back to you.